So Ryan, first world team, end up 10th place. Are you satisfied with that? Satisfied's a, a good word. I'm satisfied. I'm not thrilled about it. I really wanted to do better. Um, and I wanted to kill with Galen so bad. I just wanted to be right in the picture with Galen finishing the line. Couldn't do that. So I think satisfied is a good word, but it's not... It doesn't, it's not really a positive thing, I would say. Looks like early on you are kind of chilling in the back, or it was kind of, pace was changing a lot. Could yeah, you feel it? Well, I, w I was so excited, because I got out much better. I was like maybe sixth or seventh, you know, in the first lap or so. I was like, oh, this is great. I'll, I'll just sit here the whole race. But then, you know, the pace started going in and out, and I got shuffled, and ended up being where I always am, kind of in the back. But... That's not really, that wasn't the downfall. The downfall was me not keep, being able to keep up with this closing speed over the last couple of laps, really. Well, were you, given your mile background, were you hoping for a slow tactical race? I was hoping for an honest race. And um, that was honest, but because it was in and out, it kind of made it more difficult. I would have liked a very even pace, you know, maybe 66s or something like that. So you could kind of... Uh, some of the guys that weren't feeling good would fall off, and then you, know, you have fewer guys to deal with at the end of the race. So it wasn't ideal, but it was probably the second best option that could have happened for me. Right. Uh, let's talk about the future, both immediate and then sort of long term. Um, the rest of the summer looks like you got a couple of races. Tell people about that. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing a thousand in wins, which is really cool because that's a distance I've, I've never raced before. But that's really kind of a, a setup for the Berlin 1500, which should be a fantastic PR opportunity. And then I'm, I'm hoping to get into the Brussels 5K, which is about five days later, and that'll be a good chance for me to go under you know 1310, something like that. So I'm pretty excited about the PR possibilities here. So you've been since the collegiate season. Have you been in North Carolina training with Raleigh and? <laughs> How, tell people, how does that work? Do you have training partners? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, the last seven weeks, I, I've been in Europe traveling and training. But before that, you know, I was I was in the humidity of Raleigh, uh, getting the last bit of strength work I could. And, oh, yeah, I've, I've trained with Stephen First, who's run many of the past five U.S. championships, five and ten, 13-29 guy, Bobby Mack. I'm sure you know Bobby Mack. I train with him all the time. Um, and, you know, the college guys, Andrew Colley. I, I have no shortage of training partners in, in Raleigh. So I think that's a big misconception about my situation and, and what Coach Geiger's accomplished. I mean, he's got a really good stable there. And it looks like next year you're, you've signed a contract with Nike and you're going to join one of their two big groups, but you just can't say which one right now? Yeah, I, I really don't feel comfortable saying who it is because I might offend someone or whatever. So I'm just going to not say anything officially, but like I said, you can, you can bet on it that I'll be one with one of the Nike groups. How does that work to do both groups sort of try to recruit you kind of like you're a college student? Yeah, yeah, it goes back to me coming out of high school and they're kind of like uh, in the position of the college coaches where they're, they're preaching to me what they have to offer, why they want me to join. And um, yeah, so it's really cool to kind of go back to that, um, that situation, except this time you can get more, you know, than a, a full ride per se, you know. How, how much can you offer, basically? That, that's the cool thing, but uh, that's already settled with Nike. Yeah, so did, did things change drastically in terms of, I mean, your college season didn't end up very well. Were you worried about even getting a contract at all, and then all of a sudden you get third? Did, did, was it like a light switch going on? Or? Yeah, you know, I had such a great indoor season, but it's amazing. One season can ruin you almost, and that's kind of where I was going into U.S. championships. I was kind of like, no one really wanted me, so... I just had to prove myself. I had to fight my way back up like I had my whole college career. And uh, I had to do it in a span of five weeks or so. So that's something I'm comfortable with. You know, thin, people thinking I can't really do something. I just do it anyway, so. All right. Okay. Good luck to you. Okay. Thank you.